Ice cream machines are top heavy. It is very easy to tip your machine over and damage it. You should always move machines with at least two people. So excited, I got my ice cream machine. I'm just, I'm just gonna move it like right in. I'm just gonna pull it right No, in. no, don't pull it by the handles. Oh, so your ice cream machine has a door and handles and these are plastic. So it doesn't matter what model it is. It could be a Stolten, it could be a Taylor 430, which is a frozen drink machine. It could be this Taylor C723. But people love to just go ahead and move their machine by their handles. And that just isn't the smartest thing and we don't recommend it. So we're not gonna move our machines by our handles. Instead, one of the safest ways to move machines is to remove the lids. Now, these lids love to fall off. And now some models do have a little racket here, but when you're moving your machine, you just wanna take them and, and let them go because if it falls and a corner cracks, it can't really protect the product. So put them to the side. And what you're gonna do is when you move a machine, you're just gonna just jump right over here and you're gonna use the hoppers and you're just gonna push or pull the machine, okay? So if I was really excited to start pushing this, oh, look at that. This machine is top heavy. Ice cream machines go push right over. So you always wanna have two people, one person pulling and one person pushing with their hands in the hoppers, all right? So we're gonna show you now real quick. So, another thing that we want to make sure we talk about is that we don't like big bumps. So let's say that you were taking this machine and you were going to take it over a curb. And so you're just like, well, I've got my two people. Evan said use two people. You use your two people, but then it goes ka-kunk, ka-kunk. And that noise is the noise of you actually possibly getting a leak in your refrigeration system. We don't want to take our machines and bounce them around a lot because the fittings or refrigeration lines could then maybe tear open. So it's important to always note that your machine needs to be run smoothly and you want to avoid any bumps. You want to use it if you have to build a ramp or you need to be in, in, and use your imagination, you need to do that because you don't want to have your machine bumping in between curves. We don't want to pull it by the handle. We don't want to pull it by drip trays. Only two screws are holding on these drip trays for some models and they're not the sturdiest point. So you want to do it from the top and you want to use the frame. So we're having a hand here on the frame and a hand here, that's a good way. You also don't want to pull things by these heat scoops because these are only held on by about two or three screws and are just meant to have hot air go out. So, we're moving our machine. We never just push it because if we push it, it can tip over. We never just pull it because it could pull and, and fall on us. We always have two people to move it. And some other things that we want to consider is that we don't want to be grabbing by the hand screws either. These can break and bust off. So you don't want to grab it from really anywhere there. That's really the most important part